thank um, the fire chief for helping out. We're in the midst of uh, putting pulling together the uh, proposed budget for the uh, intermunicipal fire service agreement. So we've been going over capital planning items, operating, and uh, myself, Barb, and Steve. We're, we're 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 a good team, and we're on it, and we should have a draft uh, out to our partners pretty soon this month. Um, item three B is our monthly police department report. Police officers on the police force. Sorry. Better. Um, moving on to the crime report, everything is rather steady moving from May to June and into July. Uh, Chief Pelna did mention that there were two fatal accidents. One was uh, unfortunately a, a double fatal accident, both occupants of, uh, of the car on in the 200 block of East Market Street unfortunately succumbed to their injuries. That accident was on June 2nd. Uh, there was also a fatal accident that was on South New Street uh, in East Bradford Township. That was on June 15th in the early morning hours. And there was also uh, not a fatal accident, thank goodness, but a very serious accident in the 700 block of Downingtown Pike uh, on June 18th in the afternoon, uh, where there were several injuries that were treated and transported to the local trauma center. Uh, that accident, that crash resulted in an arrest uh, and the subject being charged with aggravated assault by motor vehicle and DUI and other charges. All three of those accidents were investigated by the Westchester Serious Crash Investigation Team. When we get to the crime report, uh, it is pretty rather steady. Burglaries are the, really the only thing that are up. If we turn to the next page uh, or one more page, there they are. Uh, we had six burglaries in the month uh, of June compared to one in June of 2022. Uh, Westchester criminal investigation is investigating those burglaries. We believe they're related. We have good leads on those cases and hope to bring uh, arrests in in the coming weeks or months. And finally, on a on a good note, a better note, I'm happy to announce that with our partners, uh, Good Fellowship Ambulance, West Goshen Police, the Westchester Fire Department and uh, other local partners, David March from the uh, Public Information Office that the national night out this year is scheduled for august 1st it's at henderson high school uh, from 6 p.m to 9 p.m we encourage everybody to attend uh, there'll be games food rides uh, giveaways i've been there the last couple of years it's really it really is fun for all ages encourage everybody to attend and thank uh david march for everything he does to put that together and if you don't have any questions that's all i have thank you thank you yeah thank you very much um, item 3C is our monthly EMS report. Justin Robbins, Assistant Chief Good Fellowship. For the month of June, we had a total of 571 calls, 134 of them occurring here in the borough. It's a downward trend. That's what we expect to see every year during the summer months. More people are out of town. And universities out, which you'll see on the last page of the report there, we had one incident at the university for the month of June, which we anticipate that with all the students going home. Not much of note to discuss on the report. Um, one good thing that I did want while I was up here to discuss those, we were actually just notified yesterday that Good Fellowship has been recognized for the sixth year in a row by the American Heart Association at their gold level, which is their highest recognition of an EMS agency. And as far as we're aware, we are the only ones here in the region to get that this year. And that is for how we treat our heart patients and how quickly we get them to the hospital in definitive care. So it's something that we are take a lot of pride in. Yeah, congratulations, that's great. Any questions? Definitely, no, congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much, we really appreciate it. Uh, we're good then to move on to our action items, which 
I believe we touched on earlier, which is to announce an offer of employment for a police officer. Did somebody wanna, did you already cover that or? I think that was sufficient if you wanna, yeah. All right, cool, good. Um, any public comment before we move ahead too quickly here? All right, uh, 4B is, oh wow, we're already at the minutes. Any issues with the minutes? All right, sounds good to me. Any other business tonight? Yes, Mr. Metric. I'd like to offer an update for people listening and interested in what the borough has been doing with our Price Street traffic calming efforts. Um, our team met with PennDOT on Monday, July 10, just a few, couple days ago. It was the earliest we could get on PennDOT's schedule to discuss some of our uh, draft ideas where we would be applying paint in the roadway to um, create a, a, you know, vision, a bump outs at, at the intersections and also to uh, um, create safer crossings of Price Street. Um, s several measure measures were discussed, including um, narrower lanes and bump outs and installation of delineators. And PennDOT representatives want to take some time to discuss it internally. We're giving them about a week and that would be on Monday. We're gonna get back to them on Monday and then we're gonna discuss what we do with next steps. We will have to apply um, and get a permit from PennDOT to apply new markings in the roadway, but we think we should have uh, some action to discuss. Uh, and I can forward that to the committee when we do it rather than wait till hearing from it again in August. And, but we should, we should see some action on this in the next couple of weeks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other business tonight? Alrighty, seeing none, we'll go ahead and adjourn at 539. Thank you.